Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, a massive move. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Referring to the previous reports, Samsung's next year's flagship device, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will be having a 200MP sensor and although the public opinion of that camera's possible performance has been that it will be underwhelming, it now seems that Samsung may still be able to make significant improvements. According to Ice Universe, the 200MP camera on the Galaxy S23 Ultra will provide unparalleled analytical power, and given that the source had been largely critical of that sensor's capabilities over the previous few months, most people would find that to be be a fascinating perspective on the photographic skills of the next generation flagship. It is anticipated that the 200MP camera on the S23 Ultra will be an ISIS LHP2, which appears to share the majority of its technical details with the ISIS LHP1 seen on devices like the Moto Edge 30 Ultra and Xiaomi 12T Pro. If this information is accurate, then the HP2 will have a physical size of 1 1.22 inches and a pixel pitch of 0.56 micrometers before binning. And while these are impressive, they still fall short of sensors on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra or Mi 11 Ultra, respectively, like the IMX989 or ISIS LGN2. Instead, if ICE Universe's statements are to be believed, it appears more likely that the Galaxy S23 Ultra's camera capabilities will rely primarily on computational imaging and AI. Well, that won't just benefit the primary 200MP camera though. The 3X and 10X telephoto hardware is rumored to remain the same as on the S22 Ultra, although the S23 Ultra is still able to make noticeable increases in zoom performance. Last but not least, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is in anticipated to have a main camera that can shoot in three resolutions, the standard 12.5 MP, full-scale 200 MP, and 50 MP while the 50 MP mode is reportedly blocked at the moment because it is still under development. In addition to that, according to a new report from South Korea, Samsung has set a target to ship 270 million smartphones by 2023 which is less than the company's typical aim of over 300 million shipments. And while the number of shipments made by the company peaked in 2017 at 320 million, the corporation is expected to release about 260 million smartphones this year. Therefore, if the corporation is successful in hitting its next goal, those results would be better than those from 2022 and according to the source, Samsung has also made the decision to raise the proportion of foldable phones in its annual shipment targets. Given the uncertain market outlook, Samsung is said to have set cautious shipment goals for 2023. Geopolitical tensions are escalating global inflation, which is already on the rise and furthermore, Samsung is working to increase its profitability as the world economy is in a recession. According to the new rumor, the Galaxy Z Flip and Galaxy Z Fold series phones of the future will have a better looking, more durable, and less obvious screen crease. Additionally, Samsung is rumored to have increased its share of expensive Galaxy S series phones by almost 50% while the sales of the Galaxy A and Galaxy M series devices could total about 210 million. That said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.